Superheroes have spectacular anatomies that allow them to pull off feats beyond human imagination. But today we are not taking a look at just another superhero, we are instead exploring the anatomy of an incredibly handsome god. Thor, the god of thunder. This handsome Asgardian is best known for wielding the mighty enchanted hammer Mjolnir, which grants him control over thunder and lightning. However, he has also unique powers that set him apart from the other earthly superheroes. This Asgardian deity is a mighty fighter, but what abilities does he possess? Keep watching to learn all about Thor's unique, godly anatomy. Now before we go into our video, we have a small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is just a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you very much, now let's begin. Is Thor the strongest Asgardian? This question is always tricky. However, to put it plainly, Odin is definitely the strongest Asgardian, but that doesn't mean good old Thor is any less. Thor and even his brother Loki are second only to Odin, their father, the ruler of the gods. However, Thor's remarkable strength easily sets him apart from his fellow Asgardians, making him a formidable force in the Marvel Universe. While most Asgardians possess the ability to lift or press around 25 to 30 tons, Thor's strength surpasses theirs by several levels. He can effortlessly lift weights exceeding 100 tons, showcasing his exceptional might and raw power. Further, what truly distinguishes Thor as the mightiest of Asgardians is his capacity to unleash devastating power, especially when he strikes with his enchanted hammer Mjolnir. He can easily shatter mountains and even level entire planets. This level of destructive force hints that there might be no upper limit to his strength, making him unparalleled among his kind. It has to be noted here that Thor's strength is not solely a result of his royal lineage as the son of Odin, but also as a consequence of his lifetime of adventures and rigorous training. So while he is not the strongest Asgardian per se, he is definitely a class apart. How physically powerful is Thor? We already know that he has godly strength, however exactly how strong is Thor? If you strip away all the special powers and his hammer, he is still a total unit and can defeat foes with his bare hands. Did you know that he's also the god of strength? So it should come as no surprise that he is one of the mightiest beings in the Marvel Universe. We already know that he can lift more than a hundred tons with ease, and some sources even suggest that his strength far surpasses this already incredible level. He has also shown the ability to snap adamantium alloy cables. He once towed an entire island into New York Harbour and on another occasion held up the George Washington Bridge to save the day, demonstrating sheer physical prowess at its best. He has even resisted the crushing gravity of a neutron star, generated enough force to destroy worlds and inadvertently caused destruction on a planetary scale during intense battles. Furthermore, over the years, Thor has demonstrated his incredible might in numerous impressive battles. He's gone head to head with some of the most powerful beings in the world, including the Midgard Serpent, the Hulk, the Silver Surfer, Namor, the Abomination and many others. Thor's sensational fights and brilliant victories against these formidable opponents showcase his unparalleled strength. Notably, one of his most remarkable feats was damaging a moderately fed Galactus during a confrontation. Those familiar with MCU know that this is no small accomplishment, given the cosmic scale of such beings. Additionally, Thor also once shattered the root of Eggdrasil, a cosmic structure that spans space-time and holds the Ten Realms, highlighting his immense power further. He truly is the definition of a powerhouse. How does Thor summon lightning with his hammer? If you've seen any movies that feature Thor, or read any comics that show the God of Thunder in action, you'll know that he's able to summon lightning with his hammer, Mjolnir. While many think that the hammer is the vessel that contains his power, that's not entirely the case. Thor's hammer definitely is one of a kind, wielded by Odin himself before being passed on to the blonde-haired, dashing God of Thunder. The hammer elevates and focuses his innate godly powers, and also makes a very cool effect. 
that iconic lightning strike shooting out from the legendary hammer. However, Thor doesn't require his hammer to summon lightning. That power is within him. In an iconic scene from Thor Ragnarok, Odin was seen taunting Thor as being the god of hammers since he appeared to be unsure of his powers without it. The purpose of this exchange between father and son was to demonstrate to Thor that his abilities were not based on the hammer, but rather his own inherent skill. Although Asgardian biology has not been fully explored, we do know that Thor possesses supernatural abilities that allow him to control the weather, particularly lightning. Although it must be noted, the hammer's abilities can be very significant for any other Mjolnir wielders. For those who lack Thor's abilities, they draw power directly from the hammer, and in that regard, Mjolnir can be used to call forth lightning, but that's only the case for characters who lack Thor's divine abilities. Can Thor control the weather? The short answer is yes. Thor, as the god of thunder, possesses extraordinary control over the weather, and he can do this both with and without his enchanted hammer Mjolnir. Thor's mastery over the weather is so innate that even as a baby, he displayed the ability to create storms powerful enough to shake the entire cosmic tree Egdrasil and the realms it encompassed. These weather manipulating abilities enable him to summon and control the power of storms. This essentially means he can create rain, strong winds, thunder and lightning with just a thought. Additionally, he has the unique capability to generate unnatural or supernatural weather phenomena like fiery rain, and his control over these elements is so potent that he can conjure up electrical storms, hurricane force winds, tornadoes, massive tidal waves, blizzards and even earthquakes that affect entire planets. However, his mastery over weather elements doesn't end there. One of Thor's most iconic abilities is his ability to shoot out lethal and immensely powerful powerful lightning bolts from his hands, and he can also surround his fists with lightning to enhance the force of his punches, turning them into devastating attacks. Exploring his incredible immune system. Thor has a brilliant immune system that allows him to be on the top of his game at all times. Given that he's immune to practically all diseases and viruses, it's apparent that Thor is as tough on the inside as he is on the outside. Thor has been through Black Death affected European cities and interacted with ailing patients without contracting the sickness. However, this does not mean that no disease has ever managed to harm him. There are always exceptions to the rule. Thor once encountered a mystical sickness that shattered the defense of his body as Ragnarok threatened the Nine Realms. During this time, he had notably remarked that he had never been ill before, with this being the first time. What was worse was that he became weaker and weaker. However, thankfully, Thor was able to nurse himself back to health, but it became obvious that the same sickness would have definitely been lethal for mortals and even other superheroes. So while having great immunity is not a flashy power, this may be one of the most underappreciated skills in his arsenal. Does Thor have a sixth sense? Thor possesses extraordinary sensory abilities that go beyond human perception. In addition to his physical and magical prowess, Thor's senses are heightened to a remarkable degree, granting him a unique sixth sense that defies human understanding. This mystical sixth sense allows Thor to see colours and hear sounds that are beyond the range of human perception, making his sensory experience truly extraordinary. He is able to detect subtle changes in his surroundings and react with incredible precision. Further, in the Ultimate Universe, Thor's godly status further enhances this sensory ability. Thanks to this, he can sense when others are wielding lightning powers, giving him a keen awareness of potential threats. Additionally, his divine nature allows him to hear the prayers of people from around the world, showcasing his connection to the broader realm of spirituality. Thor's sixth sense is no doubt a testament to his godly heritage and a unique position as a protector of both Earth and Asgard. What are the Asgardian aspects that make Thor mightier than anyone? Apart from the anatomical aspects that we've already spoken about on this list, there's a few more that make Thor the unstoppable force that he is. 
As Guardians, including Thor, possess extraordinary physical attributes that set them apart from mortal humans. Their physical bodies boast dense muscle and bones, granting them incredible strength exceeding 30 tons. Even an average Asgardian warrior is a formidable force on the battlefield thanks to their innate physical prowess, let alone the mighty Thor. Their bodies produce fewer fatigue toxins in comparison to humans, allowing them to endure prolonged exertion and withstand immense punishment, contributing to their divine reputation as formidable warriors. Furthermore, as guardians have an innate ability to generate and manipulate energy. While some, like the Enchantress, became skilled magicians or sorcerers, even those who don't focus on magic display a talent for manipulating energy. This inherent capability allows them to harness various forms of energy. Thor's ability to control the weather and summon lightning is a shining example of this. As guardians, including Thor, also possess a unique gift known as Allspeak, or the All Tongue. This divine ability enables them to communicate effortlessly with any being, transcending barriers of language, time, culture, and even species. Last but not least, their unique physiology also grants as guardians, including Thor, resistance to many magical spells and supernatural attacks, setting them apart from those who may be vulnerable to such forces. Thor, thanks to his Asgardian physiology, is innately far stronger than most earthly heroes. I mean, he is a god after all. How good are his healing powers? Thor's remarkable powers extend to superhuman healing abilities, which, while not as instantaneous as some other Marvel characters like Deadpool, are nonetheless impressive and play a crucial role in him being almost invulnerable. In fact, Thor's superhuman healing allows him to recover from injuries at a far accelerated rate compared to ordinary humans. While he cannot regrow lost limbs, his ability to regenerate is similar to that of Wolverine's, another iconic Marvel character known for his rapid healing. This means that wounds, cuts, and injuries that would incapacitate a regular mortal often heal much faster for Thor. Furthermore, his godly physiology grants him a nearly invulnerable nature, making it a challenge for most conventional attacks or injuries to harm him gravely. However, he's not completely invulnerable, and there are circumstances where he can be harmed. Last but not least, despite his formidable healing abilities, it's important to note that Thor's powers are not unlimited. Like all beings, he requires time to recover and replenish his strength after sustaining significant damage or expending immense energy in battles. Does Thor have superhuman mental powers as well? Thor possesses not only incredible physical might, but also impressive mental powers that set him apart in the Marvel Universe. While he may not be on the same level as telepathic mutants like Charles Xavier or Jean Grey, Thor's mental abilities are also quite formidable. One of Thor's notable mental attributes is his exceptional mind resistance. This means that he has a natural ability to defend against mental attacks and mind control. Throughout his many adventures, he has faced telepathic mutants and powerful beings who have attempted to manipulate his thoughts, yet he has almost always shown the strength to resist and even defeat them. Thor's mental fortitude is evident in his ability to resist mind attacks from various adversaries, including mutants, gods, and cosmic entities. Even when confronted with the powerful mind control of characters like Loki, Thor has shown incredible mental resilience. Further, in addition to his resistance, Thor can also counteract mental attacks and take control of other beings' minds. For instance, he once took over the formidable Destroyer armor and compelled Hela, the goddess of death, to remove a curse she had placed on him. Interestingly, Thor's mental powers extend beyond defense and control, and he possesses a unique ability known as the gift of forgetfulness. This power allows him to alter memories as he once made Jane Foster forget about her kidnapping at the hands of his cunning younger sibling Loki. This incident very well demonstrated his capacity to influence the minds of others. She'll possess the power of Thor. 
How does the Odin Force empower Thor? The Odin Force, sometimes referred to as the Thor Force when wielded by Thor, is a potent cosmic and mystical power source hailing from the dimension in which Asgard exists. This extraordinary force grants Thor incredible abilities and enhances all of his existing powers, making him almost, if not as powerful as his father. It represents the combined might of Odin, the king of Asgard, along with the power of his brothers, Vili and Ve. When Thor taps into the Odin Force, his powers are amplified intensely, making him capable of accomplishing remarkable feats that go beyond his already formidable abilities. For instance, Thor has been known to strike Captain America's iconic shield with such force that it caused damage. He's teleported Asgard itself to above New York City and even contained the explosion of a nuclear missile, all feats that left fans and readers speechless. It's important to note that the Odin Force is an immensely potent energy source and Thor's accomplishments while wielding it are merely a fraction of its true potential. According to an avatar of the Odin Force, Thor's actions, such as recreating celestial bodies, are considered minimal when compared to the full scope of this cosmic power. Now, this power is not something that Thor always has access to. In fact, Thor's connection to the Odin Force isn't permanent. In certain instances, he's had to replenish his energy by entering a deep slumber known as the Thor Sleep. And this rest period becomes necessary when Thor expends the Odin Force too extensively or quickly. Although, to reduce the time required for this rest, Thor uses a specially crafted casket made by Odin's metalsmith, Falki. When he enters the casket, Enchantments create a state between life and death, expediting his recovery. This casket is impenetrable from the outside and can only be opened from within. But apart from this, the Odin Force is an incredible source of immense cosmic and mystical energy that enhances Thor's already impressive abilities. The power of Thor! What are some of his lesser known powers? Even though we have discussed all of his significant abilities, which include weather manipulation, healing abilities, and even the Odin Force, we cannot miss out on the other powers that Thor has, albeit they're not as exciting. These powers, often underutilized or lesser known, add a layer of depth to his character. First up, we have a power called Super Breath. Thor's Super Breath is akin to a mighty hurricane. He first displayed this power in Journey into Mystery number 86 in 1962, when Thor used his super breath to thwart a villain's plans. While it's not his most frequently used ability, it does showcase the diversity of his powers. He also has an ability known as the God Blast, which is considered to be one of Thor's most formidable abilities. It allows him to unleash a devastating blast of divine energy. This power is channeled through his mystical hammer, Mjolnir. The God Blast is so powerful it can annihilate nearly anything, including immortals, and highlights Thor's capacity to harness and focus immense cosmic energy at his beck and call. While the God of Thunder is not Flash, he does possess the power of super speed. Thor's speed is not just limited to physical prowess, it extends to incredible travel speed. While Thor is known for his immense strength, some versions of the character depict him as one of the fastest beings in the Marvel Universe. He can travel faster than the speed of light, allowing him to take on speedsters like Quicksilver. Further, in space, Thor's speed goes beyond ordinary limitations, enabling him to travel across the universe in seconds. He also has the unique ability to transform Thor's transformation ability is tied to his relationship with Mjolnir. In the comics, he first comes to Earth in a powerless state and assumes the identity of a medical student named Donald Blake. When Blake discovered Mjolnir disguised as a walking stick, he could transform into the god Thor by slamming it into the ground. This transformation granted him the appearance and powers of the Thunder God. For years, Thor maintained his dual identity, using the hammer to shift between mortal and godly forms. Last but not least, in certain comic universes, Thor is able to teleport through the use of rune magic. With this ability, he can travel vast distances across the cosmos and even between different dimensions. Can Thor be considered an immortal? Thor is a long-lived Asgardian, but like the rest of them, he's not immortal. Humans may perceive Thor to be immortal given that Asgardians can live to be 5,000 years old, but this isn't the case. 
They do age and experience the consequences of aging. In fact, until they're about 20 or 30 years of age, as guardians age similar to humans. After that, their aging process slows down considerably. And even though the symptoms of aging start to appear, they do so gradually and are essentially unimportant. Further, the golden apples of Idun, a magical fruit that prolongs Asgardian youth and athletic abilities, can also be consumed by Asgardians to postpone aging for as long as possible. Thus, how long they live only has a few restrictions. Thor is, hence, practically indestructible because of how quickly he ages and the ways in which he can slow it down. However, if Thor was to take enough damage, he can potentially be killed. The most important consideration here is the quantity of damage required to do so. Thor can withstand enormous quantities of harm thanks to his Asgardian physiology, and this makes it difficult, but not impossible to kill him. So functionally, Thor is immortal, and unless some super powerful being shows up and kills him, he can theoretically live forever. Come on. Thor and his long list of romantic relationships. Thor has had a complex and storied romantic history throughout his adventures in the Marvel Universe. While his primary love interest has been Lady Sif, he has found himself entangled with a diverse array of partners, each with their own unique circumstances and dynamics. Starting off with She-Hulk. In 2018, Thor briefly romanced She-Hulk during the Avengers' battle against the Dark Celestials. Their attraction was fueled by their charisma and formidable powers, but their romance was short-lived due to greater conflicts. He also found himself in a complicated situation with Shauna Blake. Falling in love with Thor's alter ego, Donald Blake, Shauna had a tumultuous relationship with the God of Thunder. Thor has further been involved with Bloodaxe, or Jackie Lucas, girlfriend of Eric Masterson, a character who briefly took on the mantle of Thor. He also had a fling with Lorelei, who used magic to enchant Thor and make him fall in love with her, but her motives were driven by Loki's ambitions rather than genuine feelings. Unsurprisingly, Thor has also been linked to Brunhilde, a Valkyrie and a passionate warrior. She shared a romantic connection with Thor, however, their memories of their affair were wiped from their minds once they separated. Other women on this list include Valkyrie and Amora. In the Ultimate Comics universe, Earth 1610, Thor's love interest was Valkyrie, who gained superpowers over time. Amora, the Enchantress, often attempted to seduce Thor through magic and spells, but they did have a willing romance when he was exiled to Earth without his powers. Lastly, we have two of Thor's most iconic relationships, Lady Sif and Jane Foster. One of Thor's longest and most passionate love interests, Lady Sif, has been in his heart for thousands of years. Despite her godly status as a powerful Asgardian warrior, she has faced romantic rivals, including Jane Foster. Thor's connection with Jane Foster endured over the years, even though she was just an ordinary human. Like most gods, Thor has thus had his fair share of flings and romance. And that is a wrap on all we know about the God of Thunder and his unique Asgardian anatomy and physiology. It truly sets him apart from the rest of the heroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, bringing a mythological flair to the world of heroes and villains. What did you think? Did any of his powers surprise you? Let us know in the comments section down below.